Hi there. Well, welcome to the Breast Clinic over in Paragon Level 16. I'm Dr. Anthony Tang. I'm a breast cancer surgeon and I've been in private practice for many years now. And prior to this, I was in uh, public health care over at National University Hospital. And I've been looking after all sorts of breast conditions for well over 15 years. So I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about uh, the things that I've encountered uh, patients asking me uh, throughout my professional career. Okay, that's false. So if you've always had inverted nipples since you were young, this is a congenital thing. That means you have just grown up like this and it is not a sign of breast cancer at all. However, if you have always had the nipples uh, as an outy, as in pointing outwards, and then suddenly, let's say in your 40s or 50s, notice the nipple going in, that's different, that's a change. And that may be a sign of breast cancer. If that occurs, of course, please go see your specialist. Well, technically it's true because breast tissue has no muscle, right? but they are very large muscles behind the breast tissue and those are called the pectoralis muscles and that can be built. Now if you actually exercise those as a lady, you can actually enhance the appearance of the breast as bigger muscles and more tense muscles will tend to push the breast out and hence giving a slightly larger appearance if you, if you like me to uh, describe it that way. Uh, however, the breast itself, the actual breast itself doesn't increase in volume. It is partially true. So, uh, you know, if the size of the breast, uh, large breast runs in the family, then it's more likely that you will get large breasts as well. But of course, different things, uh, there are differences across the spectrum. And sometimes, you know, in families, some sisters may have slightly larger breasts and some smaller. So it's not uh, entirely 100% genetic. That's not necessarily true. So quite a few women do have a little bit of hair around the nipples, and that's a common thing to have. However, sometimes it may indicate that there is some hormonal imbalance, and it would be worthwhile, especially if the hair develops later in life, just to get a blood test to check to see, just to make sure that the hormone levels are okay. That's an interesting question. So it's obviously you know, good for foreplay. Does it cause, uh, can it bring about orgasm? Uh, you know, I think for the couples out there, I'll let you go explore and you tell me the answer. So this has not been 100% proved one way or the other. So obviously there are what's known as suspensory ligaments in the breast, which are sort of like very tight rubber bands which holds the breast up. Now, if you were to do a lot of cardio without any kind of sports bra or any uh, sort of like uh, supportive gear, uh, for a long period of time, will it cause the breast to sag? We are not 100% certain, but you would think it may lead towards it. Hence, I would uh, personally uh, encourage ladies who do a lot of outdoor sport to wear something supportive like a sports bra. So for everyone out there, uh, obviously nowadays in this uh, day and age, you get all sorts of news and all sorts of uh, deep fakes that you can see on the internet. So do be careful of what you read. Uh, it is always wise to um, perhaps only take note of advice given by well-reputed institutions uh, and not any old uh, story that you read out there. For example, you might see a lot of uh, interesting chats about you know, some uh, special serum or fluid that can cause uh, cancers to disappear. You know, if this was true, all of us doctors would be giving it to all our patients now. So uh, just be careful of what you read out there. If you're uncertain, of course, please do check with your local doctor. <music>